In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite passing concepts from the Trips Tight End Offset in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now if you're new to my channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free to subscribe and it allows you to stay up to date with everything that I have going on here at the channel as well as when we release new videos that can help you get better at this game. All right, guys, so I'm going to be breaking down the trips tight end offset. We're going to be talking today about the level sale play. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that play and jump into the line of scrimmage. Now, before we go too far into this play, I do want to let you know that if you have not already heard about my text message membership, it's a completely free thing that I do for my community. And basically, it's it's completely free for you to get it. And what it is, is it's, a ba it's basically a way that I can share with you every single week a full offensive or defensive scheme. So, for example, we've in the past broken down for about one to two hours every week. Um, we have a two-hour Big Nickel over G scheme. We have a two-hour uh, West Coast ebook uh, in there. We have a like about an hour. I think we have about two and a half hours on the Gun Bunch in there. We have uh, an hour and fifteen minutes on the Trips Tight End formation. We have a one-hour video on the Cover Four match defense. So we have about one to two hour videos every week that are designed to go in depth, in detail with you on some type of scheme, whether it be on the offensive side of the ball or the defensive side of the ball. And so uh, if you wanna get all of those schemes completely for free, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. By texting the word Madden to 208 218 six nine zero zero you're texting my cell phone number and what i will do is i will respond to you with a link to the playlist for the text message membership which we update every saturday and that playlist um, is going to have all of the videos in there i think there's going to be probably about 17 videos in there as of right now so you can kind of sort through whichever ones you want to watch um, if you're interested in the split close or you're interested in the U trips or you're interested in the nickel 335 wide or whatever it might be that's all probably in there and the, we're, we're adding to it every single week as well uh, we've got a bunch of really good defenses planned to go in there and we have a bunch of good offenses planned to go in there so uh, the trips tight end offset is the most recent one that we did in the last week and so i wanted to share with you this little play concept out of the play level sale but if you want to get again if you want to get those schemes all you got to do is just text me so level sale let's talk about this play um, the setup for this play is relatively simple all we're going to do is we're going to smart route the tight end or the x receiver we're going to place the left of screen inside slot receiver which is a circle receiver here on a streak and that's literally it and we're just going to snap the ball and essentially what we're going to do is we're going to really work this little flood concept here on the back side uh, along with this corner route to the tight end. Now this corner route to the tight end is super good. Uh, this corner route to the tight end is going to force them to adjust, okay? Uh, more than likely what it's going to force them to do is it's going to force them to throw some Mabel coverage over onto the running back side, okay? And so what's going to happen here, again, that Mabel coverage won't always even get out there, especially depending on where that's dropped from. Right there, the acrobat just went crazy. But if I were to basically go ahead and use that cloud flat from the outside guy as opposed to from the inside guy, you're going to see that it's going to work a little bit better. So I shaded coverage down, shaded coverage up. As you see right there, he plays him a little bit better. He's able to knock out that ball. Now let me show you the same defense. I'm just going to make one different adjustment. Instead of dropping him, I'm going to drop that middle linebacker here. So it's coming from the inside guy. And I want you to kind of watch how this is going to play it completely differently. You're going to see here that the uh, tight end is going to have a window to be able to be hit on the outside. So that's why it's important to understand, you know, they have to do a very certain adjustment. It can't just be this or that. It's that there's a certain adjustment process that they have to go through to stop this play. And so what that's going to do, um, if they do that, is that's going to open up the middle of the field. You're going to see here that that triangle receiver is going to be in a very good position. Now, a lot of people have moved to the strategy of putting their hook curls at about five yards. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of people have moved um, to putting their hook curls at five yards. And so what that's going to do is it's going to take away the underneath in route to Devontae Adams, the square receiver, but that triangle receiver is going to be basically wide open. I mean, literally, um, he is he is going to be completely naked 
on this play if they do that adjustment. It doesn't matter if they're in cover two. It doesn't matter if they're in cover four quarters. It doesn't matter if they're in cover three. It doesn't matter what the defense they're in because the yellow zones are, are dropped at a certain depth. They can't get back on that end route. That's why this is such a powerful play because it forces people to change what they're doing um, as far as an in route perspective. So let me jump over here and let me change my, my zone drop here on my hook curls. I'm gonna put that back to default uh, and just kind of share with you the read process that you're going to go through with this. And again, all you're doing, it's just a high-low read. That's all it is. You're just reading high-low, which in route is open. Okay, it's, it's really simple. Uh, most of the time, if their hooks are at default, like if they're on default, most of the time, Devontae Adams is going to be wide open. Most of the time. If they're on, if they're not on default, right, if they're not on default, then, and they're on like five yards, then most of the time the other guy will be open. But as you can see, the vertical, the, the streak up the seam, and then the in routes are going to basically, I mean, they're just going to open it up. They're, 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 they're just going to open this up. Again, I'm going to jump over here to cover three. I'm going to even shade coverage down. And if you watch these hook zones, again, they're still dropping back because of that vertical streak. It's going to leave that wide open passing window for you to be able to hit um, Devontae Adams. Now, you might be saying, well, what about man coverage? Let me show you some man coverage here. Um, this play actually does okay against man coverage. Uh, the in routes will actually do really good. The other thing is this tight in route is really good against man coverage. Uh, this tight end route is, is phenomenal, especially if you have um, the ability to put like a deep out a lead or a mid out a lead or, you know, matchup nightmare or something like that on your tight end. This is going to do really good. But as you can see, it just has really good leverage. Um, you're going to be able to hit that very easily against man to man coverage. The other routes that you have on this play, as far as man to man goes, um, your running back's a great little read for you to be able to hit man to man. A lot of times, um, he's going to be in a great position to be able to beat man to man coverage. As long as the linebacker on that right side blitzes, you can feel confident in throwing your running back wide open. And then the next thing that you have against man to man are these in routes. Both in routes should get open against man coverage, especially, um, especially because one step ahead is not as popular anymore, uh, the, these in routes are gonna win more. So you're gonna see here like this triangle receiver, just low ball inside. As you can see, he beats it you know, fairly, fairly consistently. If you're in mutt, you have better route running, you have route tech there, you have something there, that's gonna, it's gonna continue to work very well for you against man-to-man -man coverage. So you're gonna have fairly decent options against man-to-man -man coverage. Now real quick, I do wanna show you, our, as our last defense here, I do wanna show you um, some quarters coverage, just to, just to kind of share this with you real quickly here. Now quarters coverage is probably, in my opinion, the best way that they can combat this play. Um, that's where you would go into some of your other beaters. We have probably the best match beater that I've seen all season out of the trip side and offset formation. And that's, again, we break that down in the text message membership. But right here, I'm gonna go to like the, the cover four show two out of the nickel three through five wide, which is match defense. And this little running back route is the easiest way to beat quarters from, from this. As you can see right here, it's really consistent. It's really good. Um, they're gonna have to adjust out of their quarters to be able to beat this. Like the standard quarters coverage will not, will not uh, defend that. It's gonna be an easy five to 10 yards every single time. Okay, that's the first thing that I would say. The second thing that I would say is instead of putting the circle receiver on a streak, put him on a fade. Um, for whatever reason, quarters, defenses do not do great against fade routes. Uh, and, you, and, and they basically, whenever you do a fade route, it does, it does mess up the quarters coverage, in my opinion, a lot. Um, but basically, both your in routes should be open. You should have both of them uh, on, the, on their cuts to the inside. The triangle one is not as open as the circle, as the other one. As you can see right there, just not as open, okay? The corner route to the tight end, um, not really there, okay? Not really there. I wouldn't recommend throwing it. I'd recommend hitting the running back or the underneath in route. Another thing you could do, let's say that you're a little bit concerned that they are in quarters coverage, just put your running back on an option route. If they're in match defense, if that running back's on an option route, he's going to beat it every time. As you can see right there, it's another free, you know, 15 to 20 yards. So, anyways, that's the trips tight end offset. If you want to get this full scheme or if you want to get all of the schemes in my text message membership, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Again, that's my personal cell phone number, so if you have any questions about the game or you need help with anything, go ahead and text me as well uh, at that number, 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys later.